Hi guys, this is going to be my video review for Crucified by Jernwav. So I want to break this up into three different categories. The first category is going to be stuff about the band in general. The second thing is going to be about the album. And the third thing is going to be the ratings for this album. With that out of the way, let's get into the stuff about the band. Jernlov has two permanent members of the band. Those members are Alf Peter and a person named Zurio, which I don't really know anything about him. I just talked to Alf, but apparently Zurio is kind of a code name for something else, and I'm not really sure who that is. After the recording process for Hydra ended, uh, Alf Peter wanted to start a new project and he wanted to do something heavier like stuff that he grew up with and this is how Jernwaf was born. Hydeer. That is another band that I have reviewed of their debut called Kvit which means white. This album features many different vocalists who are guest vocalists on the album. The idea of having many vocalists came after Alf Peter searched high and low for a permanent vocalist. He has several different vocalists if they could be a permanent member and they said they didn't have time to contribute for a whole album. So he had several people that were interested but no one could commit fully. Ulf Peter then asked the vocalists how much time they could spend on this and some vocalists spent more time on this than others. Ulf Peter wanted to reassure me that he was very thankful for the work that these vocalists did on this album and he thinks they all did a very good job. Both Ulf Peter and Zurio started playing music at an early age. The band would love to tour, but they can't really right now because of COVID. In terms of influences, for Ulf specifically, he grew up with rock and roll, and that's a huge influence for him. For the band in general, it's classic heavy metal, which is very important to how Jernlof sounds today, death metal, of course, black metal, and thrash metal. How this band started is that Ulf Peter wanted to work on something in between Hydeer. As far as the writing process goes, Ulf usually comes up with a rift on a guitar or something, or a piano, and then he finds a drum beat for it, and then he just basically starts from scratch from there. After he does this, he has a rough sketch of how the guitar and the drums go. Then he adds the bass. He says he leaves it for a few days until he starts the process of recording the tracks. He says he sometimes changes things in between recording. He says there's basically several rounds of this. Now let's get into the album info. Alf says the main reason for creating this album is to tell people about Jesus and what he's done in his life. They started writing and recording this album just after Hydra. Let's get into some of the specifics of the songs now. Aero Tertsunen made Slaves to Righteousness, In Trials, and Temptations. We're talking about the lyrics here, and he didn't do them completely as there was help from Elf and others. Whift Your Face was originally written by Elf, but Nicholas Bush of Paracletos and Northern Flame thought it would be good to sing it in Swedish so he rewrote it from Norwegian to Swedish. The song Evil of Mankind had a Norwegian text but it was translated into English. Sirvo helped get the text translated correctly and he also made some changes to it. Rita from Hydeer participated in the Evil of Mankind. The other lyrics are made by Elf and Zuriel. Let's talk about the guests of the album. Aero Tertsunen is in this album, Nicholas Buss is in this album, David Zandervik is in this album, Sirvo is in this album, and Rita of Hydra is in this album. Ulf is currently working on Jernlov's second album. So I wanted to show off the album a little bit, the CD that I got. So here it is. As you can see, it's pretty cool artwork. And then... On the inside, oh, looks like I don't have it in there right now. It's in the CD player. But this is some cool artwork here. As you can see, we got this and this. And the the picture, the picture on the CD is actually what's on the front here. And then the back, here's the back. Um, it's got all the names of the songs. And then also it has um, a uh, booklet here. And the booklet is really cool because even in the songs that are not in 
um, that are not in English. Like you can see here, uh, the first song is uh, even in the songs that don't have English lyrics are still written in English on the booklet so that's cool as you can see here uh, let's see Slave so Strageousness is of course in English so if it has if it's and it says four here as you can see four here so yeah that's really cool let's get into the categories shall we so in a general sense I just want to say that I really enjoy this album I think it's really, really good, top tier stuff. I want to also say that Alf said, when I asked him if this was a black metal album, he said, no, it's unblack metal. More or less, he said this is symphonic unblack metal. Now, for the rhythm and weight of the notes, the rhythm sounds are harmonizing and dark. The speed is mezzo forte, medium fast. It's a mix of all different kinds of speeds in the album, and I would say overall it's brisk. The wares are absorbing orchestral and versed. In terms of heavy and lightness, it is dark and full, and the rhythm in general is upbeat and changing. Overall, I'm gonna rate this at a 2.2 out of 2.5. Great category. For the notes in light of the depth, the progression or climaxing is atmospheric and enchanting. The complexity is captivating, full-toned and hypnotic. The composition is airy, meticulous, and sonic sounding. The atmosphere is dark and strong, and the notes in general are resounding and dreamy. So this is their best category with a 2.3 out of 2.5. In the depth in terms of the listenability, the synergy is intricate and symphonic. The production is rejuvenating, rounded and smoothing. The noise or sounds are haunting and poetic. The genre, rather original or defining, is synchronized, classic, and satisfying, and the depth in a general sense is accompanying, harmonious, and versed. Another strong showing here, 2.2 out of 2.5. For the listenability in terms of the rhythm, the flow from one song to the next is brilliant, enticing, and smooth. The smoothness is seamless and rehearsed. The predictability is enjoyable, instinctive, and resolute. The groove in a general sense is charming and measured, and the listenability in a general sense is compelling and sweet. I'm gonna put this at a 2.2 out of 2.5. So overall, there's not a single category here that is below an eight, that if you would take all the categories and put them together, no one of these would be below an eight. In fact, it's almost a nine. It's really, really good. It's uh, fantastic, actually. So overall, I'm going to give this an 8.9 out of 10. Very, very strong. And I want to add also that it's very extremely difficult to get a 9 out of 10 on this. There will be some albums that get a 9 out of 10 or above, but very few. Well, guys, that was my video review for Crucified by Jernwov. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.